is a set of lungs. That there is Dr. Elvis Francois, a singing surgeon who went viral with his touching rendition of John Lennon's Imagine. I just want to get treated by him. Gee, I wonder what you're going to say as soon as we start talking to him. Well, let it be a surprise, Ellie, because the frontline health worker from Minnesota in the US is now doubling down on his efforts to help combat this crisis by releasing a selection of songs to raise money for charity. And I'm pleased to say, Dr. Handsome, Francois, joins us now. Good morning to you, my man. How are you? Well, very, very good morning to you all. Thank you so much for having me from across the world. I, I'm honoured to be here with you all this morning. Oh, it's, it's so good to see you. You brought a lot of smiles mm. to a lot of dials in a difficult time. Uh, what made you to go public in this way? Yeah, you know, these are very difficult times for us across the world, especially particularly here in the States and, and, and across the world. Um, and it's amazing, you know, for me, I'm training to be a surgeon, but it's amazing to see what music can do and how music can bring people together and um, I'm just honored and humbled to be in a position to be able to share music and both medicine with people um, to make their day a little bit better. I mean, I think it says so much, the fact that you've had more than two million hits in just a, a few days. How important is music, do you think, at a time like this? You know, I, that's a, a great question. You know, for me, like my entire life, I've wanted to help people with medicine. I wanted to help people with surgery. And um, uh, it's amazing to see that mu music goes places that medicine simply can't go. It heals people in places that uh, medicine simply can't. You can give people medication, you can give them pills, but uh, a, a, a song can remind someone that you know everything is going to be okay. And, and music touches people in that way. And, and I'm just honored and humbled to be able to share a bit of both. Doctor, a, se a serious question too. Um, wh what do you make of, of the protests being held um, right across the country demanding restrictions be lifted? How does that sit with, with the medical community? You know, it's, 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 they're very uncertain times, and I think for patients, and that, as well as for providers, uh, physicians, doctors, nurses, um, uh, um, it's a very difficult situation where we're, we're all using different metrics and different numbers to find ways to, that we can make sure we're protected, but then also that we're not stifling our economy. So um, uh, there's a lot behind the scenes that happens, but I think it's a situation where it's going to require all of us to, to make small sacrifices along the way. Mm. But the beautiful thing about all of this is that it's going to require all of us to come together as one. And I think um, seeing that on a day-to-day -day basis gives me a lot of hope. How have things been at your hospital there in Minnesota? Yeah, no, great question. I, you know, for us here in Minnesota, it's, it's, a, it's a, a difficult time. I think, um, you know, when, when I show up to work every morning, uh, you, we have nurses, we have uh, doctors such as myself, surgeons, um, ICU physicians who are all stepping up to say, hey, how can I help? And I think when we look at this challenging, difficult time, it's beautiful to see every single person come to the hospital knowing that they're putting themselves and their own uh, health at risk, but also willing to do whatever it takes to help the next person. And I think that's the hopeful part about this, seeing us all come together. And I think uh, uh, seeing that is a beautiful thing. Dr. Elvis Francois, what a beautiful name. Um, where does the name come from? <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so my mom was a huge Elvis Presley fan, uh, the rock and roll. Some of you may know Elvis Presley. Um, but uh, I was going to be named Gregory. Some of you may know him. But I was going to be named Gregory, but then she had a dream. She was at an Elvis Presley concert the night before I was born. And she went from Gregory to Elvis, and here I am. <laughs> Gosh, imagine how disappointed she would have been if, if you grew up and couldn't hold a tune. So thank goodness you can. Um, because you've just released... You're releasing an EP entitled Music is Medicine. Do you think you can sing us out? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The, title, the, the um, EP is all the charities. If you download on Spotify, iTunes... Um, or Amazon, all the charities, all the proceeds go to charity. So um, we're excited to be able to share that bit of music. But I'd love to share some music with you all. And this song is actually also on, on that album. And all charities are going to COVID-19 uh, relief. But here's one of my favorite songs, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Sometimes in our lives We all have pain We all have sorrow but if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me. Let's ruin it, guys. When you're not strong. When you're not strong. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you, you carry on. And this, ladies and gentlemen, can take us 
to the break. It won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to leave. 